Hello, I'm Randolph Charlton. I'm here with Brian Mandeville, Northeastern Tight End. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very good. So um, first off, I'd like to know exactly how did the NFL contact you in letting you know that you were invited to the Combine? Um, well, my situation was a little different. I, I didn't get the initial invite. I was kind of put on a waiting list, and then uh, they wait for the juniors to kind of declare for the draft, and then um, and then they go from there and see how many spots are left and fill it with guys on the waiting list. So I kind of got mine a little late. Uh, it was at the beginning of February, and, uh, yeah, I got, I got a phone call, and uh, it was definitely exciting news to hear from them. Yeah, I could imagine. Okay, so you get down to Indianapolis. I assume they weigh you, they measure you, and they put you to the, through the um, test. Um, when did they tell you about your situation? Um, they did the, the height and weight first and the body fat and all that. And then uh, the second day was pretty much, it's a, it's a whole day of like medical exams. Um, and so it was the second day I was there. Um, I got a, a routine physical by one of the doctors. He said he heard like a heart murmur, so he's gonna have me checked uh, in the next room on the on the uh, heart machines, the echocardiogram and EKGs, and uh, and that's when it kind of showed up on the picture of the on the echocardiogram. Uh, I've never gotten one before, and then that showed up, so it was, it was a shock to everyone. Yeah, because you didn't know about this problem before. No, no, never had it. Never had any a problem with it. Never heard no doctor ever heard anything. Um, no, it was a complete shock. <laughs> yes, and I know they sent you home right afterwards, pretty much. Um, no, they. Um, well, soon after that, I got. I had to go to the hospital get another. I got a cat scan on it, um, and then. I kind of had to wait around the next day to hear the news on that, so it was a little nerve-wracking. Um, but I stuck around for that. Hurt. I met with the cardiologist, and, and they kind of uh, they good, did a good job sitting down with me and, and kind of informing me that I wouldn't be able to play play any any longer, um, and kind of briefed me on the uh, my my situation, and then uh, and then they they said I. They gave me the option of going home right then, or if I wanted to stay, and I chose to stay because I, you know, I had some friends there who I had grown pretty close with, and I uh, wanted to see them compete. Okay, so I know it's a heart valve problem. Do you know the exact name and what is what happens with it? Um, yeah, well, it's my uh, aortic heart valve. Uh, it's it's a bicuspid valve, um, which means it only has two leaflets. Um, it's causing my uh, aorta um, to dilate, so it's it's wider than normal, which is uh, in football obviously a bad thing. Uh, it require you know football requires a lot of uh, stressful lifting, and, and it's just the lifestyle. It uh, it you need to uptake your you know keep your body at a at a, a, a heavy at weight, a peak, yeah, at like a peak a level, peak level really, and. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it with my condition, so it's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> so does this mean you can't stay athletically active? Can you still work out and stuff like that? Yeah, I can work out. I always can't, like, power lift anymore. Um, not that I would be. <laughs> I was planning on after football, but but uh, I can still work out, stay in shape. Um, you know, I just have to keep a close watch on it. How about something like basketball? Or yeah, I can play. A little bit more vigorous. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually there's, there's people who have uh, – had this condition, uh, you know, Ronnie Turiaf with the with the uh, Warriors now. He's in the NBA. So people other in other uh, in other sports are able to play with the condition, but football uh, requires a little different lifestyle. <laughs> Is it because of the um, high impact nature of the sport? That and the uh, the thing they're worried about is is more the uh, the weightlifting, putting so much stress uh, on those on those arteries, and uh, that's would be one of the worst things I could do for it. So it's definitely, it would definitely be a, you know, wouldn't be a smart move. <laughs> so this is a inoperable condition, correct? Um, well, right now, I mean, I met with a bunch of doctors here and, and they told me, uh, you know, right now it's not at the point where it needs to be operated on. So they're uh, going to choose to have me come back like about every six months and uh, get it looked at. And if it's changing, then we'll decide to, 
should operate on or not. But uh, I mean, maybe down the road. But uh, right now, I'm good. Yeah, but it'll never. Things. But it's not something that can be fixed to the point where you can return to playing football. Right, right. Um, there'll always be a danger if, if it is, even if it is repaired. And uh, you know, at that point, you know, I mean, it's the NFL. It's the difference between one guy to the next is is minuscule. So uh, I'd be hard pressed to find a team who would uh, who would who would want me under that condition. Take a chance. Basically. Take a chance, right? So. And man, it's the nature of the business, you know. Yeah, I guess you could cross off Atlanta from the list, not just because of your condition, but they just signed Tony Gonzalez. So. <laughs> right, yeah. Can't, can't be the next Tony Bummer. Gonzalez. <laughs> no. Yeah. We were open, but no. All right, so what's next for you? I mean, now that football's out of the question, what's gonna, what are you going to do next possibly? Well, um, I still have to finish school. I have five classes left. Um, so I just uh, registered for classes in the summer and in the fall, and I'll – I'll finish my degree in the uh, in the fall, so I mean right now I'm I'm looking forward to that, um, and really I'm, I'll be you know searching for that next next thing that I can kind of put all my energy into, kind of transfer over the work ethic I had in football to uh, to that next the next uh, thing I could be passionate about in life. So what's your degree? Uh, sociology. Okay, there's a lot of avenues you can work with that one. Yeah, Anything? you can kind of go. It's pretty broad. You can go many different ways. So, you know, I still have to. I'll, it'll be interesting to kind of discover what what I'll be interested in uh, in doing in the future. Right now, have you thought about some kind of employment related to football? I have, and that's usually the question I get asked. Uh, I mean, it's still early. I, I, right now, I'm just kind of uh, you know taking it easy, uh, relaxing. Um, but uh, I thought about it. I put some thought on it. I can, I can see myself maybe down the road, but uh, right now I'm just kind of kind of focused on school, finishing up. So there's a possibility of Brian Mandeville the coach? <laughs> uh, there's a possibility, but uh, I don't know. I, we'll see down the road where, where, where it takes me, you know. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, think about it. If you were a coach, you definitely have the credentials. Your players would definitely respect you. So <laughs> yeah. you can always call up your stats, you know, live in the past, and just rub it into their faces, <laughs> I'll be trying to inspire them. Yeah, my has been now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've accepted that. <laughs> well, it's a tough break for you, but I'm glad to see that you're taking it well, and I definitely wish you luck in the future. Thank you very much. You know, hopefully, I'll see your name again. Yeah, hopefully, you know. it'll be making a splash somewhere. Yeah. Just remember, you live in Walpole. That's down the street from Foxborough Stadium, from Gillette Stadium. <laughs> I know. Just. Yeah. Just put in a good word for the Patriots, and you never know. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I know uh, my family was hoping I'd get drafted with the Patriots. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have been hoping for you, home. too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.